stay black in America, don't leave, don't go away. The greatest country in the world for a black man or a black woman. You can make all your dreams come true here in this great country of America. So why leave? Why go anywhere? The greatest country in the world. So talk about something called white flight. It's a it's a phenomenon of some sort. You hear a lot about uh, gentrification in the cities and so forth. This is something totally opposite. This is something that's going going on now in uh, in New York City here, 2023. You've got uh, 820,000 white families had fled the city for the suburbs. By doing so, it was a it is going to be a significant significant effect on the inner city's tax revenue, uh, financial structures, possibly leading to a collapse of New York City. Um, reason for this, the phenomenon of white people flight, moving out of the urban areas, particularly those with significant m minority populations and to the suburb areas, middle class uh, New York City citizens, Fleeing to the suburbs, man. Fleeing to the suburbs. I guess they it, it came to the point where they said, "Well, I guess we're holding this city together here. You know, we got the we got the revenue, we got the we got the income, we got the jobs." They say they're desperately looking for jobs, desperately looking for jobs in the suburbs. So that's what they say. But the effect of it is going to be tremendous. But you know what? This is America. This is the freest country in the world. You you can do whatever you want to do. In fact, God gives you free will. So if those 820,000 people, which is a, a significant amount of people in the middle class as well, that might be almost the largest, that's a, that's a great migration from New York City to, to the suburbs, the suburbs of New York City. Probably one thing, uh, New York City is, is, is expensive, real estate, renting apartments are incredibly expensive. Um, you know, crime, I guess, is, is crazy, drugs is crazy, poverty, people living all on the street, all kind of, all kind of nonsense is going on in New York City. I never, I never liked uh, New York City myself. I mean, I didn't hate it, but never liked it. Visited a few times up there, and uh, I hear some people say they love New York City so much. Uh, I had a cousin of mine who was an electrician, was working on those subway stations in probably the '60s and '70s and so on, updating the electrical systems. And he said the best thing about New York City was there's two trains uh, leaving every day coming back to Washington D.C. <laughs> That's what he said. His name was a, uh, his name was a. Uh, Mr. Mr. Welch, James Welch, <laughs> great electrician, great cousin, first cousin, passed away, age of 66, but um, can't mention no good words for him. He was a hardworking man. He loved his family. He uh, got caught up in drugs, and uh, then he beat him. He beat the drug system. 1977, back in the day, he was a uh, man of the year for uh, Bow Way Worldwide, a big powerful church structure there, and uh. New Jersey Avenue, Washington D.C. But uh, that's a uh, that's white flight. So look, so, uh, uh, like, share uh, my channel. Until next time, subscribe. Bye.